Okay, in this video, we're going to look at how to multiply and divide when you are using significant figures. All right, so good news is multiplying and dividing, I think is much easier than adding and subtracting when you're dealing with significant figures. Okay, so phew, this is kind of sort of easier. Okay, but we're still gonna go through the same process, all right? If you have a multiplication or division problem, but you have to apply it with sig figs, you need to go through some extra steps, okay? But the good news is every time you do this, you can feel like you are smarter than your calculator, okay? So basic rule for this guy is that you can only, all right, so the, the rule for this one is you can only have as many sig figs in your answer as the number with the fewest sig figs in what you started with, okay? So all this means is you are actually going to count your sig figs, all right? Okay, so if we looked at an example, 6.038 times 2.57, okay? If I had this, this question and I went beep, boop, beep into my calculator, my calculator would give me 15 point five one seven six six okay but that's not correct and you're smarter than your calculator because we need to actually count up our significant figures here all right in this first number I have a zero that's trapped so it's significant so I have one two three four sig figs in this answer or in this number I have one two three sig figs all right, I can only take the number of the fewest, right? The fewest sig figs, so three. So my answer can only have three sig figs. One, two, three. Anything beyond my third sig fig is not significant, okay? I, I can't have it. I do need to look and see if this is going to round up, but the one does not make the five round up. I'm gonna stay, which means my answer here should be 15.5. Okay, if I had another one, 71 divided by 5.4796, and I plug that into my calculator, my calculator gives me 12.9572, many numbers here to go. Okay, this is what my calculator gives me. But that is not what you're going to write on any quiz or test because you are smarter than your calculator, okay? So I go through my numbers that I started with. This one has one, two sig figs. This one has one, two, three, four, five sig figs, which means my answer can only have two sig figs, the smallest number, right? So one, two sig figs. Anything beyond that is a big nope, all right? And I check and see if this is going to round up. The nine is gonna make the two round up, which means my answer should be 13. Okay, all right, a couple more examples. Uh, one I definitely like would be if I had five times three is 15, except not really, right? This has one sig fig, this has one sig fig, my answer can only have one sig fig. So the five is going to make the one round up. So you got it, five times three is actually 20 in chem. Okay, we'll do two more. If I had 300, divided by 25 versus if I had 300 divided by 25, okay? And now you're thinking, what the heck? That's the same, okay? It's not if I have a decimal on one and no decimal on the other, all right? So if I did this in my calculator, 300 without a decimal divided by 25, it would tell me 12. If I plug this into my calculator, 300 with a decimal divided by 25, it would still tell me 12, okay? And in this case, my calculator's wrong. 
right? Because these zeros are not significant, they're placeholders, which means I only have one sig fig here, two sig figs here. My answer can only have one sig fig. So that two, it has to go away. All right, I do not round up. I'm gonna stay, which means 300 divided by 25, in this case, is actually 10 versus here, right? So if I had 300 with a decimal point divided by 25, I would actually still get 12 because in this case, since I had the decimal, this is one, two, three sig figs. This gives me two sig figs. So it means my answer has to have two significant figures. And it does. Hooray. Hopefully that makes sense. Multiplication and division much easier than addition and subtraction with sig figs. Good luck.